Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Here are five new features in Adobe Camera Raw. One, automatic dust removal. To remove dust spots in an image, I'll select the Remove tool and under Distraction Removal, use the Disclosure Triangle to reveal the dust options. To preview any dust spots, I can enable Visualize Spots. Camera Raw displays a high contrast version of the image. And using the slider, I can adjust the threshold which reveals several dust spots. When I click Apply, Camera Raw automatically removes the spots. If I see any remaining spots, I can click in the image to remove them manually. Likewise, I can hold the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows and click to remove a spot. All right, let's disable Visualize Spots. To copy and paste dust removal, use the More icon to select Copy Selected Edit Settings. I'll choose Check None, then use the Disclosure Triangle to reveal the removal settings and enable dust. I'll choose Copy. Then we can move to the next image, click the More icon, and choose Paste Edit Settings. Camera Raw analyzes the newly selected image and will remove any dust spots that are specific to that image. To save dust removal as part of a preset, click the Preset icon, then the New Preset icon. I'll give the preset a name, and select a group. We can choose Check None, then use the Disclosure Triangle to reveal the removal settings and enable dust. I'll click OK in order to save the preset. Now when I move to the next image, I can apply dust removal with one click using the preset. Dust removal is also available in Photoshop when using Camera Raw as a filter. 2. Improved Reflections Removal when photographing through plate glass, such as windows, the Reflections feature in the Remove Distractions area now utilizes an updated model that is both better at detecting reflections and removing glare. I'll apply Reflection Removal with a quality set to Best, and then speed up the video to save time. Here we see the results of the newer model. Previously, I created a snapshot of the results of the previous model so that we can compare. I'll change the view to Before, After, Left, Right, and on the left is the original, and on the right are the results of the new model. I'll click to swap the Before and After, select the Snapshot icon, and select the snapshot of the original model. Then let's swap the Before and After again so that we have the results of the older model on the left and the newer model on the right. If we zoom into this area, we see that the newer model does a better job of filling in the blown out area from the reflection, and we see improvements in the wall texture. And here, we see better results in the sign. One thing to note, while neither of the models use generative AI to hallucinate missing content, if a reflection is too strong or lacks enough detail to extract the object behind the glass, then the model will fill the area with similar colors from the surrounding area. 3. Enhanced Detect Objects When removing distracting objects in Remove Mode and with Detect Objects enabled, Camera Raw can now detect shadows and reflections, even when there's a disconnect between them, like a gap between the subject and the reflection. Here, I'll quickly select only the person and when I release the cursor, because I had Detect Objects enabled, the shadow is automatically selected. When I choose Remove, the inclusion of the shadow should help produce better results and result in fewer insertions of odd objects in the image. Then we can choose the variation that we like the best. 4. Improved Landscape Masking While landscape masking isn't new, it now has the ability to select snow, and I found it to be great at icebergs as well. In masking, I'll choose landscape, select sky, water, and snow, and create three separate masks. For snow, I'll decrease the temperature in the tint. Then for water, I'll decrease the saturation and increase the exposure. And for the sky mask, I'll also decrease the saturation and then move to Effects and increase the clarity and add a little dehaze. Because dehaze tends to increase noise, 
I'll move to Detail and increase the noise reduction. All right, let's use the eye icon to show before masking and after landscape masking. In addition, there are eight new adaptive landscape presets. I can hover the cursor over them to preview the effect and then click to apply the adaptive landscape masks. Five, precise HDR headroom control. For those editing images for high dynamic range displays, the pop-up menu that was used to set the HDR limit in previous versions of Camera Raw has been replaced with a more precise slider that can be adjusted in one-tenth of a stop increments. Double-clicking on the tick mark will set the slider to its default of 2.3, which should work well for most of the hardware and systems in use today. And we can shift double-click on the slider to set the slider to the limit of the currently used display. I want to point out that I'm viewing this image on an HDR display and the highlights look fantastic. However, since I'm not recording this video in high dynamic range, those bright areas may appear clipped to pure white in the video. Before we finish, I just want to mention that the variant slider in point color, which first appeared as an early access feature in Camera Raw, is now officially released. There's a link to that video in the description below. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.